All right, so welcome to code challenge number two. And in this code challenge, we are building something really cool. We are gonna be using the Star Wars API, swappy.dev, um, to fetch data and populate um, a hidden uh, component under this call API button. Now you might notice that it looks a lot like the other component that we built for challenge one, and that is correct because I kind of just used that and I've grayed out the field uh, because I wanted to add a little extra bonus challenge for anybody who is gonna do this code challenge. So first of all, um, we can't build this on code sandbox and I'll leave the links for everything. You can download it and run npm install and basically set this thing up on your local machine, which if you're new to programming, uh, just follow the instructions and that'll give you, you know, some, you know, more practice of working with JavaScript applications on that level. Uh, but we have to go over to the local environment real quick to actually see how this thing works. Now, we look over here, basically we can call the API and it'll populate this data for us. And we're reaching out to the Swappy API, which if you've never heard of it, it is swappy.dev. And basically we can call, post, put, delete different inputs and in pulling information into our own app projects. And it's just a test API that's real fun that has all the Star Wars characters and all their information from their home world, their gender, the different space vehicles they used. And you can see that these are all, you know, embedded nested um, URL uh, endpoints, which kind of have to go deep and you kind of have to write and configure some code. Now, the reason I'm doing an API for my code challenge number two is because in your programming career, you're going to need to know how to do this. You're going to need to know how to work with APIs. And there's a lot of projects we are going to be doing up and coming that are going to involve APIs, uh, frameworks like React, uh, Java, you name it. And we're going to be getting into that. And this is just a simple act where I've added a extra component. And this extra component um, is the results component. And it's just a blank component. And what we're doing is we're hiding it and rendering it conditionally um, here in the app.js. Now, this used to say index.js, and I renamed it. You can keep it index.js if you want, and it's really up to you. But if we go over to the logic, which is in the index.html, um, we can see here that, you know, I've called the API just using the basic fetch. You can use async if you want. I just found a little overkill. Um, and you were just mapping through the results uh, with an array method and you know, outputting the results to the bottom of the screen. But the cool thing is, is that this component, the rev scraper result, um, is hidden until we click this button. And for the bonus challenge, I've left this input field grayed out and uh, you can actually try to work on your own code to call some of those different endpoints uh, to bring in different information like their, their spaceships or their home world or, or different you know, information about the characters uh, from this API. So I've left that grayed out so that way you can actually work on that and uh, make it a searchable input value where you can tie it to the button click and when that happens, um, it'll bring back in the information into this component. Uh, so whoever does that is definitely going to be in the top running. I would definitely like to see that. Um, and uh, like I said, coming up next month, I'm going to be doing some really cool uh, giveaways and challenges. I got some swag, I got some books, um, and I got some gift cards and stuff that I'm going to be giving away to people doing this code challenge. You might have noticed that me talking uh, right now, I don't have that many followers, but uh, I've been blasting social media, talking to a lot of people in different groups, and you know, I'm inviting people over to this channel because I think this can be a real fun environment for programmers that are new trying to get involved in the game and ones that you know um you know have been you know in the game for a while intermediate and even advanced learners you know to work on projects because i find that you gotta code every day every single day you gotta at least put in 28 minutes of coding every single day uh no matter what you gotta code something and that keeps you sharp and that keeps you attentive and it keeps you interested in coding and you know, if you're going to be doing programming, you're going to need to know how to work with APIs. So I want to work with technologies that realistically are going to bring value to you in your career. So other than that, I hope you guys um, have fun with this challenge. If you have any questions, uh, you can hit me up in the Facebook or in the Discord channel. And all the links to everything you need, including how to set it up, are below and in the GitHub repository. So um, happy challenge coding, and I'll see you next time.